Hello. All right. Time for another stitching session. We're going to do some rainy water we place today. We are going to be working on, um, I think, roughly this area right here. Where's you? I actually started working on this uh, prior to um, starting this session. Let me move a few things around here. Here we go, here we go. Actually, I did that, and then now I don't know exactly what I got going on. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so we're gonna stitch. How you guys doing? It's Friday afternoon, and it is, oh, a very early stitch with me that I'm filming. Um, primarily just because uh, I don't know if we're going to go see the bees tomorrow morning or the next day, but um, considering that I had a four-day weekend, if I don't get this stitch with me out early this weekend, I think it would be really lazy of me. So we're just going to do a wee bit of stitching, a wee bit more of stitching on this project. I've got... um. I already made some progress on It Is Well, I think, and then between It Is Well and then this, oh, there's a piece of thread right there. Hold on, get my scissors. I'm not sure where that comes from. Nip that in the bud. Literally. Ooh, anyway, so. Still just a bit tired, but <clears throat> productive morning, so that's good. Working on the blog. <coughs> Working on the Pinterest. The Pinterest is fun. It is fun. Contemplating taking a nap. May happen, may not happen, we shall see. Probably not, I think it's a little too late. I wanna say it's like two o'clock right now. So it's a bit too late to be napping. I was a lot more productive yesterday. Got a lot more done, but today a bit more mellow. A bit more mellow. Puppy's doing all right. He really, well, I gotta tell you, what night was it? See, it wasn't last night, the night before. So, Wednesday night? Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I really, I was really, really worried about the little guy. Um, he he has these, like, um, vertigo episodes. I think that's what they are. And he's still trying to heal his brainstem, especially... Um, that eighth cranial nerve, I think. Um, it's uh, definitely <clears throat> damaged there. And, uh, you know, it, that's what controls your balance, basically. So, like, he walks around and his eyes are just dancing all the time. Because he's, uh, you know, he doesn't see real, he doesn't see at all, I mean, but his... Uh, well, I shouldn't say his eyes dance, but he's not, it's not like he's dizzy when he walks. He can, he's walking more and more in straight lines. He does circle and that is part of it, but he also can walk in a straight line at times and walk quickly in a straight line. But Wednesday, Wednesday was, uh, for whatever reason, whether it was because I didn't, I didn't get an extra feeding session into him. I've been trying to do see, we've already done two big feeding sessions. And then when I get done with this, I'm going to do another feeding. Or have we done three? The one at seven. No, it'll be time to do another one when I'm done with this. Um, I try to get in about five feeding sessions a day. So two in the morning, two in the afternoon, and one at night. Just to try to keep his, you know health going. He's trying to heal this brain, this terrible brain injury, along with trying to grow as a puppy. He's way behind his brothers and sisters in terms of growth. Um, I'm feeding him a, a super high calorie food right now, and I still have to um, syringe feed him because he's uh, 
He's just way too inefficient at eating. I mean, he'll open his mouth and he'll chew on things and do different things, but it's so slow. And I just, you know, I'll, I'll teach him how to eat if we get to that point, um, how to chew and whatnot. But for now, it's just all about getting the calories in. But he just seemed more more upset uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, where I just was like, I, I was so close, literally, to just taking him in and saying, you know, it's time, enough is enough, he's suffering. I just, he just was struggling so hard. And I, uh, I changed up a few things in my routine on Tuesday morning and, and focused on trying to get him, or Thursday morning, Thursday morning, yeah, that's what I said, um, trying to focus on getting him maybe not quite as big of feedings, but a little bit less feedings, a little bit more often. And he slept a bunch on Thursday. Like there was, I mean, I really was, I was like, I was thinking that I was definitely going in going back over to work and and then he just he went to sleep and then he slept I got a little fuzzy thing there and then he slept most of the day I got him up a couple times for feeding but he slept most of the day and then last night that little bugger was just running all over the place and when I say running he doesn't he doesn't exactly run but he's moving in straight lines more and more and quickly a lot more quickly than he had been and the other thing he did was he tried to climb the stairs, which was crazy. Uh, somehow he got to where the stairs were. And, well, not, I mean, he goes by the stairs all the time. But he went to where the stairs were. And then he got his front feet up. And then got his back feet up on the stairs. And then I was, I, I mean, he climbed a whole stair. And, and then he got stuck on the second one because I think he was just tired but I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I mean, Dookie is, you know, theoretically so much further along than him mentally. <laughs> Dookie can't go up and down the stairs very well sometimes. So I was just, holy cow. And then he's continued to do well today. And, you know, my, what I want to see from him is recognition he puts his nose down now and he smells things. Um, he can tell when the dogs are barking, I, I believe, because he seems to, he'll wake up or he'll, he'll bark a little bit or something will happen. But I want recognition, meaning I want him to turn his head when I'm clapping my hands or whistling at him um, or maybe focus in his eyes a bit a bit better but you know we're still it's a long-term project so we're still working on it it would probably be better if I was of the type that would get up at say two o'clock in the morning and feed them but I just can't do that I can't do that and also stay healthy and not get sick and not want to know be mad or whatever so I need my sleep I have to get my regular sleep or else it's just everything else falls apart um, no news on the car uh, insurance called me back today and we talked again about it and got everything straightened out and he was all excited because he's like oh yeah like 90% of stolen cars get returned and I'm like oh that's great and I'm like uh yeah that's it's not the stats that I've seen, but and considering my car was such a popular little car and uh, low mileage and whatnot, why wouldn't you want to drive it a ton? So, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. The old back is kind of tight the last couple of days. I'm not sure what I did. 
course, I really ought to stop carrying the little one around. I swear he's got to be over 15 pounds now. My scales at work are not being terribly accurate with him, I think. Because he's definitely growing. He's still skinny as a little thing, but, I mean, you can't tell because he's got so much hair. But... Anyway... Fuzz all over my face. No, that's not fuzz. That's cat hair. Kitty hair. Kitty hair. All right. Now I'm going to move on to a different color. I wasn't going to stitch any more on this piece. and But then I thought, you know what? I haven't done it for a little while. So let's do some rainy Waterloo. I think... Uh, I think I might do some Old World Map 2, maybe, or some Reaper after this. My routine lately has been just to go to the pieces that... Like, go to the projects that I'm making progress on and that I want to make progress on. I do those first, and then if I have more time, if I'm able to stitch on more things, then I jump to things that I, I don't do as often. Oh, look. There's a randomly missing stitch. I think I'll fill it in with this color. Hopefully it looks okay. It's from the other page. Interesting. So why wouldn't I have filled that in? I'm sure there's a thought process to that. What that thought process might be, I do not know. But, let's see. Um, things that the blog has come out with lately. Um... You know what plarning is? It sounds like a made-up word, and it is a made-up word, but it's called plarn, P-L-A-R-N. And what it is is using plastic bag material as yarn for projects. And it sounds crazy, but there's a way that you can kind of cut up or use up um, plastic bags, just your normal plastic bags, and... You can then uh, make different things out of them. Um, other bags, like you, you could take like different colors of the plarn and uh, make other bags out of it. I've seen people make sandals. Um, other decorative type things. It's a way to recycle those plastic bags that are never going to break down in our you know, environmentally friendly. So, that was kind of cool. And then I learned about Shashiko, or is it Sashiko? I'm saying it wrong. I know I am. One of, the, one of those two, probably. Um, and that is Japanese embroidery, which is pretty sweet. And so, there's some articles about that. And then... There was a, one of my uh, people that I hire for writing is huge into quilting. And so she just got back from a quilting, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, like a convention. It's not a convention, but it's a, like a quilting event. And um, learned about all kinds of things. So we're going to have her uh, write some more articles. Today we did one about long arm long arm quilting and then she's working on um, using embellishments in quilting article right now which is pretty cool um, I have a feeling that if I was a quilter I would absolutely be doing embellishments it's just I'm an embellishment kind of person 
At least I think so. But I'm not feeling 100% hot right now. And uh, I'm feeling kind of run down. <sighs> Definitely need more rest. I'm trying to sleep. Still can't sleep past uh, like 6 o'clock lately. It's weird. It just, my, whole, my whole schedule is just totally thrown off because of the fact that I don't have... Um, I don't have my car. It's so weird. Let's highlight. Let's highlight. Ah, I'm highlighting too much. I'm over aggressively highlighting. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Whew. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. I'm just trying to figure it out here. I'm just trying to figure this out. And go there. Ooh, I'd get some popcorn later. I had totally forgotten. So we got the new microwave a while back. And, um, because the other one, like, died. And we finally decided to put in a, um, over the, over the stove or over range, uh, microwave in. One of the things for years that I could never do is my, for whatever reason, my old pop, or my old, um, whatchamacallit, um, microwave just would not pop popcorn correctly. So we got this like air popper and it's great, but I don't have any like of the oil right now. I don't even know where the popper is. I might've tossed it cause I stopped using it a long time ago, but I got some popcorn the other day and I'm like, you know, let's try this microwave. Maybe I will do that later. Watch some hockey, watch some hockey tonight. The blues are playing, the blues. Let's tie this off. Okay. Um, can hear the hamster over there going after the water bottle. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. 
And here we go. Ooh. Yeah, maybe some Reaper later. That would be good. That would be a good one to do. Tiny little, tiny little naughty knots. But yeah, so we're going to go check on the bees and see how well they're going. And hopefully, it's the weather's been so nice, what we want to see. Because we haven't been able to get back there for at least a month because of all the snow in February. But what we want to see is seven healthy hives. And all of them buzzing tomorrow. So we'll take a video. And if everything looks good, we'll, we'll, regardless, we'll probably put it up on the, the bee channel which I never talk about anymore because I just don't make the videos for it. I need my husband to do it. Mark, do the videos. I got too much. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, I tell you guys about how I I moved my, um, the the floss, the wall, what do you call it? The wall organizer for all the floss. They have all my little back uh, buckets with uh, um, different number of floss in them. And we moved it over to where my desk is. And oh my goodness gracious, what a great idea. That has helped me keep my desk free of virtually all floss. I can't say clean because that's not true. Because that's just, you know, not true. I'm a messy person. I am. So... But it's been really nice. Really, really nice. Mama, wow, 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 mama. Boom, 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 boom. I'm trying to think of what else I've. What non touchy subject I can talk about. <laughs> My mind has been kind of business stuff and viral stuff that I'm not going to get into here. That's, this isn't the place for it. Um, can't remember what else. I can't remember what else is going on. Must highlight. They're doing construction behind the house back here in the park, putting in new irrigation slash sprinkling systems for the for not the park not the park that I back up against, but the settled kind of landscape part of the park that they have ball fields on a little bit further down. But they got to drill the hole or drill the holes back along here, so it's just going to be. Uh, I don't want to say loud because it's likely to happen on next week when I'm not here, so that'll be good. But the dogs might be a little perturbed by it. Hmm. 
humbaba humbaba hum. In like progressive I think we're going late March to the vision doctor I might need to get me some new progressives because the ah, because the um, the glasses the reading glasses are great for like this but then when I'm looking at the pattern like you know 10 inches away then it's like I gotta lean in it's not quite right Pum, 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 pum. I better highlight. I'm gonna sit here staring at this thing. And I'm like, ah, I better highlight. Let me just throw my highlighter there. Throw my highlighter at it. Highlighters at night. Dun, dun, dun. Cross stitch in the light. Cross stitch in the light. Something like that. Shum, 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 shum. be weird whenever I do finish Rainy Water Replace. Something else, I mean, either baseball or apothecary shop will take over, but something will take over. So those of you who are fans of the Dresden Files, Jim Butcher, the author, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the next book is coming out this summer. I want to say it's late summer, maybe August or so. Finally, I don't know how many years. Well, I shouldn't say that because it was all last year that got caught up finally on all the books, but it's been quite a while since he's written anymore. I took a break, wrote some other stuff. Now it's coming back. We're delving back in. It's going to be awesome. Do, 
sure with it as well. Next week is possible to get it done. Possible. But not terribly likely. I think two weeks is the more likely. But you never know. I may decide to work on it more this week. And just maybe, you know, put another 15 minutes in here, 15 minutes in there. Probably could get a lot more done. Boy. Can I, how can I see without? You know, my eyesight is definitely getting worse. It is very sad how much very worse it's getting. You know, you kind of get that tipping point, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I can't see hardly anything without this or that. That's just the up close stuff. feel like stitching on that bears thing until the bears get their act together and they probably aren't going to get their act together until they fire that GM oh I'm still hoping that they'll bring somebody good in to be the backup well I should say to be the starter I was thinking about Mariota just because I think he's better fit for the system um, but shoot there's so many different quarterbacks who would be so much better. No trades yet. No trades. No signings. Ooh, we could get Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, that would be amazing. Sign Teddy. That would be, that would be good. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. He's a good leader. He would be good for the team. Still got my blues though. The blues. Teresinko should be coming back soon. Sometime this month, they say he well, I heard a week or two ago that he'd been skating with the team for a couple of weeks at that point. So I don't know if he's been cleared for contact yet. I know he's gotta get his um fitness up and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure he's coming back here shortly. Hope that doesn't upset the apple cart of the team. Wouldn't want that now, would we? No, we would not. Ah. I was talking about the bears thing because I have it right here in front of me. That one right there. But I'm like, meh, I don't feel like it. I wish I could find a blues hockey one. That would be cool.
I think I'm ready for a nap already. I just got really tired. Day two of my four day weekend. Kind of like it. Kind of like it a lot. Whoops dropped my scissors. one that I need to get back on. I really enjoyed that one. I need more time. I'm getting more time. I'm getting more time. I know I can't say that, but I'm getting more time. It's coming. It is going to arrive at some point soon. Some point soon. But, um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the stitching here, but I'm going to do a tiny little video at the end of this to show you guys one more time, my uh, cross stitch organizational setup downstairs by my desk. That'll show you the um, uh, like what I have on the wall and whatnot. Because I really, 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 really like it. So let's do that. I'll be right back. Alrighty. So I think you can see that. Basically, I just have this sort of it's almost like a garage organization system normally we'd use these little things for like screws and nails and things like that but it works fantastic for cross stitching hey Topher stop it Topher's trying to get in to where we're at here um but it's got all the different colors that I've marked so all the floss that's labeled it's all in its little appropriate spot it got my little you know ecru white and black or anything that's close to that goes over there just because we you know use it so much but yeah, so I just broke all these up into the different things, and it just works fantastically. Because it's like right next to my stash of stuff, and it's right here where I stitch. So if you're looking for something similar to it, I'll link down below. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. It's a short one, I know. I'm just, I'm just super tired, and uh, yeah, I need a nap. So I will talk to y'all real soon. See you on the weekly update this week. Check out the blog at stitchingjewels.com if you want to read some cool articles. And the dogs are getting all upset with me because I'm talking. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.